Okay guys, this is Mr. G again. I just wanted to give you a quick uh, little tour of the, the town I live in. It's called Shakur. It's a small town. Um, so I have a camera on my dashboard of my car. So we're just going to drive through it real quick. We're going to drive to my house uh, so you guys can see that. A few of you guys wanted to see um, the place I grew up. So we're going to show you. Okay. Um, so right now it's like 4.30. It's dark. Um, one of the sad things about winters here is the sun never shines. So I haven't seen the sun since I left Hawaii. It's always cloudy, um, it's dark, and you can tell there's no snow on the, the grass because it's been kind of warm. Okay, so up here you'll see a gas station to your left, and then you'll see a park. Um, this is where I grew up playing, uh, playing basketball and stuff, um, breaking ankles. It wasn't bad, but now it's a small town, railroad. We only have uh, only have like one, we have like two gas stations. This is our big gas station here. Hopefully you can see through that. Okay, so this is Shakur. This is the main street. Okay, it's really small. We're gonna go up the hill. This is actually my family coming down right here in the blue van. They passed us. So we're going to make a left here. It's called West Slippery Rock Road. I'm going to wait for this car to go. Does anybody know what you call a car with only one headlight? I'm curious if you guys know that. Yeah, I'm going to turn here. So you notice the buildings are kind of old fashioned. Uh, like uh, from like a western movie. Here to our left, we have um, our fire department. It's kind of small. Don't nearly hear um, the fire trucks as much as you do um, in Y and I. That's for sure. Cemetery. Uh, and if you guys notice, a lot more, a lot more space between the houses. If you can tell the wipers are on, it is starting to snow just a little bit, not much. I don't know if you can hear it hitting the windows either. Okay, so here we go. We're kind of come up to my driveway or my parents' place. This is where I grew up. You see, that's my car. I've had that for a long time. Yeah, here we are. This is the house that I grew up in. Um, I'll show you inside real quick. Okay, I just want to show you the yard real quick. Um, so I grew up, had a pretty big yard. I was growing up. Um, the best part about growing up here was uh, back there in the woods. Um, the woods go back very, very far for I think about 50 acres. Um, so it was nice to play as a kid. And you can tell it's starting to snow here. So I'm going to write you a little message. See if I can write on my car. Hello. Aloha. Yeah, it's cold. Can't really make a snowball. But, uh, no, that's nice. All right, so I'm going to take you into the house real quick. It's probably locked. Nobody should be home because, uh, everyone just left. I have to meet them in the city. 
My mom would probably be mad because she didn't clean up, but this is our house. This is where we grew up in. Again, there's my dog, Greta. It's a big dog. Yeah, this is a house I grew up in. Uh, I'll take you upstairs real quick. That's where our bedrooms are. Uh, I'm not going to show you my bedroom. Well, it's not my bedroom anymore. It's my sister's. My sister took over my bedroom. Oops, the phone's ringing. Yeah, this is all it is up here. Um, three bedrooms. Parents. So, this is where my parents used to be. This is my room when I grew up. Um, and then this is my sister's room. So, all of them had to share the same room. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's just my house. That's where I grew up in. Just wanted to show you that. Because a few of you guys were all interested in that. Um, but yeah, I'm actually leaving tonight. Tonight's my last night here in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's my grandma. All right, I guys, I'll see you on Monday. Excited to see you guys. All right. All right, hello class. Uh, this is Mr. G. I'm here in uh, East Brady. Um, it's about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away from uh, where I live or where my parents live. Uh, what I just want to show you the river here. It's, uh, it's a very large river. And because our next unit we're going to be talking about is the water cycle. So this has something to do with the water cycle. We're not going to talk about it in the film. Um, maybe we'll talk about it in class. Also with me is uh, my dad, older sister. Uh -huh. ah. uh, my youngest sister and Greta. <laughs> Here's the river. Yeah, I can hear that. Dad. Sorry about that. The dog's a little bit restless. Craddock. Right, I'm going to shut this off, and then we're going to go look at the stream a little bit closer, or the river a little bit closer. Okay, now we're on our way down to the river. Um, this is our van, our Asher van. Greta. Greta. Hey, hey. Come on, you're alright, you're alright. Hey, hey. I showed its teeth. Oh my gosh, Chelsea. Yeah, I know, it's one eye is blue. Kids, I don't know if you can see this. This is a stray dog. We're walking on the trail right now. Um, but it's got really, got a really cool eye. It's got one blue eye and one brown eye. And he's peeing right now. Come here, come here. You're okay. Good dog. I know, it's going to get the whole way. Yeah, right now we're on a trail to go see a tunnel and um, go see um, some, I believe a waterfall is still there. And if you can see over there is the river. We'll get a close look at that. Um, right now we're going to walk on this trail for a couple minutes. And then also you can tell there are no leaves on the trees. Why do you think there are no leaves on these trees? All over the place, no leaves on the trees. Yeah. 
Okay, so here we go is our first waterfall. Now, this waterfall is not nearly as nice as the one in Hawaii, but since we're talking about the rain cycle, um, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. I'll explain this waterfall later in class. It's a nice one. Oh, that's cold, that's cold. So here I'll briefly talk about it. So the water, you know, comes with the clouds, it rains, it goes on these mountains, and it comes down this waterfall. Where do we think this waterfall runs to? I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Follow the waterfall to where it goes. Okay, there it goes. Goes down here. Oh. Can you walk through? Let's see. Don't slip. Oh. <laughs> So here's the water runs through here, which here I'll walk through here. Might as well. All right, here we go. Oh. It's spooky. Hope you guys are seeing this, but this little tunnel where the waterfall runs into. I don't know, but my shoes are getting soaked. There any creepy critters in here. Oh, look at that. Probably some. A little bit creepy. Here we go. Almost there. Oh, you all right? Ooh. Cold. It's cold, guys. I wish you can realize how cold it is. All right. I guess this looks about as far as I can go, but if you can see, that is actually the river out there. So water runs down from the mountains through a waterfall, down into a stream, and down through to the river. Okay, it's all part of the water cycle. So where do you think this river runs to? All right, I'm gonna go back out. Pretty cool looking place. Okay, here we go back out. My dog. Oh, it grabs. Oh, so cold, 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 cold. My feet are cold. Right off. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, right. All right, now we're out. Pretty cool. Okay, so now that we're out of the the tunnel, where the water flowed down from the mountains, where the rain falls, water comes down the mountains, goes in that little tunnel, and runs into the river. So here's this river. Um, it's fairly large. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I don't know from your viewpoint if it just looks pretty still, the water looks pretty still, but there is a pretty um, good current to it. Let's see if I can help you by showing it. Let's see. Here, let's see if I can throw this. Ugh. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna to try to throw this into the little river, see if you can see um, the speed of the current. Okay, there's that stick, it's floating. Uh, decent, that's pretty slow actually, it's not that fast. Um, but yeah, that's the way it flows. So it flows this way, comes down, goes around the bend, and wonder where it leads to. Okay, so that is your question. Um, I might change it in class, but yeah, here's the river, it's very large. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think if I could swim across that. I'm not sure if I could. Uh, and I'm not sure if any of you could either, but maybe you could. All right, so now we're gonna go to uh, a tunnel, another tunnel. Okay, so here we are at the tunnel. There used to be uh, this old railroad tunnel. The trains used to come through, the path we were actually just walking on um, used to be railroad tracks. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna walk through this real quick. Uh, it's kind of cool, a little bit spooky. And here's some more water water rolling down into a stream, going into the river. Okay. Officer signs says keep out. I'm gonna ignore those right now for educational purposes only. Okay. Um, we can't go too much into it. Ah, oh, it's flooded. Oh wow, got flooded, huh? Yeah. You used to be able to walk through this. Yeah, what are you doing, Greta? <laughs> Somebody have a stick? Hey, grab it, grab it. Ready? 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 Go get it. Okay, so that's the tunnel. Uh, unfortunately, we can't walk through it. It's flooded, but got some cool pictures. That's fucked up here. Let me see if I can get another view for you guys. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're good. Alright, see you guys.